I just wanted to thank you guys for attending this meeting before we sit down with the mediator to come up with a amicable solution for a positive outcome for Ava, for this unfortunate divorce that Ms. Johnson and Jeremy are going through. I just wanted to give them a chance to talk about it and see if we could come up with something great for them and make their family somewhat still be happy. Absolutely, absolutely. I think that the first item on our agenda today would be custody and visitation of Ava. Uh, it's par for the course in these situations, especially with a child of Ava's age, that the mother be awarded primary custody. Okay, wait, so what does the child's age have to do with who gets awarded primary custody? On the it's course? very simple. My client will be the custodial parent in this instance. It okay, is um, so not to cut you off, what is a custodial parent? Parent. I've never heard of that. Custodial parent means it means, it means that she will have primary physical custody of the child, which is only right since she has Ava over 50% of the time anyway. <laughs> is that right? Yes. So, so do you know how your client uh, got Ava over 50% of the time? It's because she actually took her and moved to New York. That, that's how she gets to spend so much time with her. So if you want me to get on a plane every day and fly out to New York, maybe that's something that I just can't well, do. Well, actually, Jeremy... You don't have to get on a plane every day because I've moved back to Atlanta. Really? Well, that's that's news to me. Um, why wasn't my client notified that she moved back to Atlanta? Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, it's a, it's a communication issue is what we've been having. Um, but I think furthermore, let's talk about how she got to New York. Right. Without my consent, she took my daughter and moved to New York. Without me, I mean, is that like kidnapping? Oh, without, oh, without your consent. Jeremy, kidnapping, stop it. You know I would never kidnap our child. And I did get your consent. You don't remember the conversation we had? I let you know we were moving to New York and you absolutely gave me consent. Ernestine, we talked about you moving to New York when I was... When you were what? I'm sorry, Jeremy, come to me when you were what? We talked about you moving to New York when I wasn't in the right state of mind. Oh, you weren't in the right state of mind. I. Yeah. And apparently there have been several instances when you were not in your right state of mind. Hence, the DUI. Let's stay on top. Really? Is that, is that what we're doing right now? I never thought I would be in a situation where my ex tries to pin the system against me so that I'm not able to see my daughter. Oh. But, it, but, it, but is that the angle that we're taking? Maybe we should discuss Ms. Johnson's infidelity. I agree. <laughs> Oh, first of all, we're not discussing that. Let's stay on track here. We, we are not going to use the system and use that against me. You have to be accountable for your actions, Jeremy. I'm not the one who got a DUI. You did. Okay, so, so, so with that, you feel like I'm an unfit father? huh? But because what makes you fit, Ernestine? I, I don't think you're a fit mother to raise my daughter by yourself. Oh, you don't think I'm a fit mother? What makes you more fit, Jeremy? What are you going to teach Ava, huh? How to be out running these streets and be an alcoholic? Well, I, I think that may be better than, than teaching her how to be unfaithful and just being a whore. Oh, 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 don't you ever, dis don't don't you don't ever disrespect me, Jeremy. Let's, let's oh. calm down. Let's all take a breather, okay? Let's take five, ten minutes in the hallway. Short recess, okay? Let's just take a minute and think about this, Jeremy. I think that's we'll okay. We'll come back and reconvene. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. 